Hello. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to use the go uh, new Google Scholar PDF Reader. So this is a new tool that was just released uh, today or yesterday. I'm not quite sure, but um, when I log into my Google Scholar homepage today, I saw this new one and I tried it out. It actually uh, is quite useful. So that's why I'm making this video. So hope you find it useful too. Just go to uh, scholar.google.com and then uh, if you find this one here uh, right now on the homepage, you can just click. So this is a new uh, Google Chrome extension that allows you to read PDF. It's kind of just like a PDF reader, but uh, it's pretty intelligent. It's using some AI and then to extract the table content and also um, highlight it, uh, some figures and captions and also allow you to cite uh, the paper. So it's pretty easy. Uh, once you click here on the homepage, then you can click this one, uh, Chrome Web Store page. So it's going to take you to the Chrome extension uh, page. Then from here, you can just uh, install this one. So Google Scholar PDF Reader. And it's still pretty new, but uh, I highly recommend that you try it out. So just click Add to Chrome and then Add Extension. Then it's a pop-up on the right here. You might want to click this one and then also to ping this one um, to the uh, toolbar here. And after that, you can start using that. Uh, you can use that to read papers uh, from the Google Scholar, or you can also use it to read papers on your local uh, hard drive. So let me show you how to use that. I'm going to go to my uh, Google Scholar page here and you can just click any paper you want to read. And after that, just click, for example, the first link It's going to take you to the um, page of the publisher. And if it has a PDF, you can click to just open any PDF. So this is where it's going to start extracting the information. You're going to see that one on the upper left corner here. Uh, earlier you see it's like um, uh, spinning is actually reading the paper so now on the upper left corner here if you see this icon so this is a google scholar uh, pdf reader that means it, it was able to extract information so now you can see on the left right so this paper actually if you download it on your local computer it actually doesn't have this table content so this is being extracted on the fly um, somehow using the google uh, uh, scholar database and inside the paper uh, you can clearly see now um, it has already extracted the references. So the nice thing about this is when you click, you can actually preview the paper. Uh, this was not possible in the past. Uh, let me show you how to download this one to your um, uh, computer. So if you try it out, I can click the download button. Uh, you should be able to download this one to your um, computer. And then you can open it uh, using any PDF reader. So I'm on uh, Linux, so it might look different. I want to show you the differences. So this one here right now, and uh, this is where it's being uh, displayed. And you can go to the home, the first page, right? Take a look. You also have the citation, but you see these are all basically static text. It's not um, hyperlinked. So you actually, it's very difficult because anytime when you read this one and you want to see what this paper is about, you need to scroll all the way to the end to see the, um, uh, the reference list. Then this is not very convenient. So that's why I really like this one, because if you find any interesting paper, you can add it to your uh, library. So for, for now, like if you see this one, you will preview and you can clearly see uh, how many times you were cited and all the information that you can get uh, from Google Scholar. And also on the left side, the table content is actually quite useful. Um, besides the table content, you can also sections, right? Uh, you can jump to a specific section or you can also click to see the figure. So if you click this one, it's going to jump to the figure. Uh, if you click on the table, it's going to jump on the table. And it's much easier. So this makes life much easier to uh, read the paper. And uh, you can also click the page if you want to go to a specific page, uh, right? And on the left side, table contents. So now let's cover uh, some of the things on the upper right corner here. And this one shows you basically the citation. So if you want to copy the um, just the citation that you put into your uh, paper, then you can just uh, choose whatever style that you want and at the bottom here you can also export to those uh, uh reference manager right so endnote for example um beep text so just double click and then just control c then you can open your notepad or whatever uh, you should be able to paste this one uh, to your for example uh, your paper right and you can start citing that um, besides that uh, you can also click this one here to see more information about the paper 
for example, how many times uh, this paper has been cited, uh, related articles, and how many versions. And you can also save that to your library. So this is pretty much the same that when you use Google Scholar, um, you can click the, 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 the page. For example, let me, I will show you later. So you can save that to your library and then you can start creating a, a reading list or something like that. And if you click, uh, it should take you, oops. Um, probably the hyperlink is not working. Anyway, so you see every time here, it's like reading on the fly. Um, you can also change the uh, mode. So it's using my device mode, but you can also use the dark mode, uh, the light mode, right? So it's, this is the light mode, the device mode. It's not fully um, dark mode because inside the PDF, it's still the uh, light mode. But it's uh, much better than a traditional PDF reader. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the traditional PDF reader. So it's there's not, uh, it's very difficult to navigate through. But things I've downloaded this one to my computer, you can actually uh, use the uh, this um, Chrome to read low PDF lo on your local computer. So let me show you how to do that, right? So right now I'm using the browser here and you can just type any directory. So for me here, right now, this is my computer directory. You can just paste it and then hit enter. You see right now it's showing my PDF uh, under here. So if you click on this PDF, it's the same thing. So now it's actually, oh, the you need to activate it. So it's going to ask you allow access file URL. Um, otherwise, it's only going to able to access PDF on uh, through HTTP URL. But if you enable this one, then you can read local PDF. So let's click this one and um, that's it. Now you can just reload it. So let me come back to here I'll go back and refresh. So now if I click this one, look at on the left side, it's loading. And so right now this PDF is on my local computer. Uh, computer. It also has this table content. Uh, you can do the navigation. Uh, you can click any references. So this is pretty nice. So it's a very uh, user friendly tool. It's much better than any other PDF. And one thing that I've um, thing is missing is allow you to, for example, take notes. And of course, because this is using, um, if you save to the cloud, it's going to use some storage. So right now it doesn't support um, uh, highlighting or um, selecting. At least you can select text, but it's it doesn't have the uh, traditional like Adobe PDF that allows you to uh, take some notes or have comments or something like that. But if it's just doing the reading, um, this is much easier because you can quickly navigate through the references, the figures, the tables, and also you can have the table contents. So I really like this one and I hope uh, you find it useful. Uh, you can integrate this one and it makes it much easier for you to uh, write paper. You are welcome to try out. I think there are a lot more. Um, um, come back to here and we article, right? So you can try out anyone. I, I, I'm pretty sure most of those should um be able to get it so let me try this one see if it works yeah so it might not be perfect but as you can see you still have this one and yeah so if you click the paper you see you uh, very very fast so i don't know how they did it but this is a very nice feature that now uh, if you're interested in any specific paper then you can open it and you can open it for example for this paper i like it uh, open this one on the, um, the website and download the PDF, for example. Right. Okay, this one, it doesn't allow you to open it, but you can download it to your computer. And then again, go to my um, local hard drive. Oops. And go to my downloads directory. And here, open this one. Uh, see on the left side, so it's reading. And oh, this one doesn't have the... Um, doesn't have the, the table contents. Interesting. So probably some of the papers, uh, it doesn't work yet, but um, at least you can try it out, see uh, how it works. Some of them work, some of them may not. Uh, so it depends on um, the specific paper. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope you find it useful. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.